Welcome back to the second episode, now with better voice quality. Yeah, I have basically settled in. I have the mic set up, and thank god the table's dimensions fit perfectly with the mic stand holder thingy, so that works out. Um, so yeah, I have gotten settled in, and that means I can continue making videos. Um, but the problem is, like, I have lots of things to do. I have to make my own food, I have to do my own groceries, I have to buy my own groceries, um, I have to do the laundry and all sorts of stuff. Just basic maintenance, and that eats up a lot of time. You add that on top of uh, studying and all that kind of stuff. And that leaves little room for stuff like this. Now I will be uploading. Uh, I'll try to do it consistently, but it won't be as frequent. Or even if I do upload frequently, then the quality won't be as good. I'm talking. I'm talking about the main channel, by the way. Uh, and that sort of applies to this channel as well, because this also takes up time, obviously. Now, let's get to playing the game. We have just one more stone before this gate opens. So let's get to that. So we know that those guys are dangerous. And will I be fast enough flying upwards to skip through them? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh. I guess not. It won't even <laughs> won't even show, I see. Yeah, there are occasional lag spikes which I don't know how to fix. I guess just drop the quality a bit. But my laptop should be able to handle this. It's a pretty strong one. Maybe the coding is a bit inefficient. I'm gonna turn the audio, the music down, because it's just a bit too loud. Right. So, I think that's impossible. I mean, yeah, the, the wingspan on those beasts just cover the entire passage, so we're gonna have to use this way instead. So what's the point of this? Just like to waste my time? I guess so. Yeah, that's not much of a puzzle, it's like, this route leads to death, this route does not. Which route do you choose? Yeah, that's not much of a puzzle. The water, I think, still kills me, so how do I go across? Alright, so, I think it's just timing. Yeah. Hello, it's you again. I forgot your name. Like, Leira, okay. Hello again, Sully. Your world is so vibrant and green. I remember when my realm used to look this alive. That was long ago, before the demons came and corrupted its essence. My people were not prepared for them. Why would we, why would we be prepared? The Mage Order said, to see, said that sealing the gates would keep the corruption out for good. We had no means to escape the demons once our gate was closed. It was akin to a death sentence. Now I am the sole survivor of my kind. I was all I was all alone until I met you. All right. Will you have any important role in the future? Cause it would be pretty weird if you're just like a random character that appears. So maybe you'll play an important role in the future. I think this is just to the back and forth, right? Yeah. Close one, close one. Okay. Wait, how does this? Hmm. Ooh, just barely enough. Okay. Where did that thing go? Or maybe it's like a like a boss thing. Because, like, the same thing happens with, like, Hornet 
or like um, Nosk in Hollow Knight. Like you see them for a bit and then they run off to the side and then you keep following them and then in the end you fight them or something like that. Right? There's something there which I would like to explore. A secret place. Nice. Alright. Hey, it's a guy. Ooh, how do we... I feel like most of the puzzles are not even puzzles, they're just like, uh, time, timing based stuff. Ooh, that was so close, that was so close, okay. Ooh, wow. Days passed, and the lovers charted the crooked, ruinous landscape in search of a new place to call home. A. Alright. That, that was pure luck. Alright then. What was that monster that was following me, or me following it? We're able to go through now. An ancient power lingers beyond, born from the first world, a mighty vessel, now a mere puppet of the Dark One. You can hear footsteps just in the background, which makes me a bit scared. Okay, weird. Never mind, never mind. Alright, 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 alright. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to fight this thing. Do I just like... Nope. How do I damage it? You're not telling me how. Do I like just jump up to the eye? Maybe. Or maybe after after some point a weak spot will emerge and it'll be obvious. Or what if I go up here? I don't know, I'm just bouncing. Okay. Alright, I guess. Oh! I see. Ah, uh, that wasn't. I mean, I guess it's a bit obvious, but not too obvious. All right. Shoot here. Shoot here. Come on. Come on. You know you want to shoot here. Yeah. Idiot. Yeah. Come on. So I guess just walk to it. Don't bounce because you'll just like bounce away in a different direction. Just walk on top of it. There's a ghost. Aru's ceremony was a failure. The power of the first world cannot be contained by mere chance and rituals. The first is the origin of everything there is and all there will ever be, the progenitor of reality itself. When the first came into existence, it began as a swell of raw magic. It has since turned sour with rot. We tried to ignore the corruption in, in the hope it would pass, but to overlook reality is to court madness. Uh, now, now, the forgot now the forgotten son, Arowen, herald of the first, seeks to enforce his own dark reality upon, upon us all. I still don't get the lore of the story a bit. I kind of get it, maybe like 10-20%. And it's too bad that I won't ever be able to understand the lore because this does not have the amount of dedication or popularity that something like Hollow Knight has. And I'm sure no one will make a an hour long video explaining the lore behind this world. I hear the, I hear the, I hear the footsteps again. I don't know where it's coming from. That's weird. Maybe it has some lore significance and we'll never find out because no one will be dedicated enough to study this thoroughly. Let's go see the lost villagers just to see if my 
theory is correct. Hey, I am right. So the lost villagers are meant to be stood on those pedestal thingies. Just like the grubs in Hollow Knight. <laughs> is that all you're gonna say? At least the grub father gave like coins or something. I guess there's no in-game currency here, so that makes sense. Alright, what portal does this do? I mean what what does this portal do? Bad bad grammar there. Bad arrangement of words. Uh, we have become attuned to the essence of a distant world, a place of illumination and shimmering allure. So I can't press X. Pressing X does nothing. It's just that whenever you move, the light shrinks. Oh, that's that's really big. Oh, okay. So we're supposed to damage it, like with the black thing, right? So come over here. Oh, I can't jump anymore. Oh, the lag spike had me worried there. I could have sworn there was a platform there. Was there not? Wait, what? Wait, what? what wait, what? Wait, 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 what? Okay. What? I don't understand how the mechanics here work. Okay, I guess, like, you can only jump on the platform when you, when you see it. Right, even if you don't if you don't see it, but you know it's there, it won't be there. You have to see it in order for it to be there. I guess that's the rule for platforms. Right? Hello, it's you again. Why what are you doing at this dark place? A lost villager. Okay. How do we do this? Wait. Hmm. Oh god, yeah yeah, if you if you can't see the platforms then it doesn't work. Like you hmm, you can't jump immediately because it doesn't give enough time for the circle to regenerate. But if you wait for a bit then the black drops will go down. Holy shit, yeah. Yeah. Whew, okay. The shard was once part of a gate crystal. Even in the broken in this broken state it contains immense power. Whew, okay. Right. So it should be done. Right? Oh my, you have two shards? Splendid work. I can use them to open Brown's chamber. The use of crystal shards has long been forbidden, but these are trying times. Behold their power. Shards are powerful, rare vessels that can amplify or diffuse magic. You should remember this on the road ahead. As a token of my gratitude, you may enter and speak with Braun first. I just hope he offers the insight you seek. Wow. What a nice pocket dimension you have here. What have you been doing all these years? Ah, uh, you know my name already. I see you have made quick work of my barrier. <laughs> yeah. Just breaking and entering. I am Brahm, the rightful guardian of Vaya. After the beast's attack, I sealed myself in this chamber to escape. <laughs> what a coward. <laughs> my old friend Zerana could help us defeat Arwan. Unfortunately, she resides in the desert, desert world of Sanaria. Sully? 
If you were to gather more crystal shards, I could use them to open a portal to Sanaria. Thankfully, there is a working shard within the abandoned great mines. I will mark the entrance on your map. You know, you could have just opened the door yourself so that I didn't have to waste those two shards opening the door for you. What a coward Braum is. We have to do all the work. He just sits and does nothing. Brahm's messengers told us you needed passage to the great mines. He must really think hi highly of you, Sully. I'm just a little kid, man. Can I have to do all this work for you people? For you adults? Ooh, okay, I got I got the tactic. So you place the portal midair. Like now. And then jump again. Yeah. Alright, 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 alright. So we just gotta time it. No, close the portal. Yeah, close the portal. Uh, 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 please, okay. Nice. You're standing above the Forbidden Great Mines, birthplace of the Magic Gates. At its prime, mages gathered in the Great Mines and worked together to understand the portals. But when we sealed the gates, these pillars were erected to lock the mines and its secrets away forever. Braum asked me to grant you safe passage below. Find a way to activate each of these pillars and the path will open. Oh god. Hey, Lena, Reina, Lena, Lyra. <laughs> so greetings, Sully. I understand that you're aiding the Mage Order. I recall when their scouts first arrived in my world bearing gifts of knowledge and prosperity. That was when we realized we were not alone in the universe. All of a sudden, our world felt so minuscule. I wonder, would the corruption have found its way to our world if the Order had not opened the door? Hmm. Ooh. Wait, does it pass? Does it pass? Okay, so when that happens, we turn it into stone, and then we do this. Ah, oh, nice. That's a good puzzle. All right, all right. I have to. God damn it. Okay, I have to push it more to the. To the left. Alright, so come over here. And then you're going back. You need to stone. Alright, let's push you a bit more there. Yeah. So that we can do this. Awesome. Nice smart tactic there. It is all activated. Y you did nothing, man. What did you do? Oh. Okay. I guess you did something. Yeah, let's solve this puzzle. Because I'm intrigued. And after that, we'll be done. We'll be done after that. To the center and then now what 
Oh, and then now we go here. Oh, fuck. Oh, god. Okay. We're just gonna die now, right? After we just portal again. Oh, no. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Right, so that's... At least we know how to solve it now. Right? Alright, so come here, come here. Alright. Uh, alright, alright. God, it still keeps going. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, thank God. That was so close. Look at how close. It's just like a couple of pixels away, those fangs or whatever. Alright, let's, uh, let's just stop for now. Right. And we'll see you in the next episode, I guess. Right. Goodbye.